Hello, this is Angela with Parker's Permaculture. I am back for another kind of ecological meme breakdown. So I've done a couple of these in the past and um, I know that I probably have a lot of strong feelings about these little blurbs that are just supposed to communicate some kind of sustainable living or ecological or environmental perspective that someone has in a really succinct and witty way. And they seem to just fall so flat. And I think that they are no less appropriate to dissect and analyze than any other kind of critique in popular culture. So I wanna to talk today about this meme that has been exploding on social media for a couple, a couple days, a few days. And particularly it got shared in like the kind of pollinator groups, the um, nature scaping Facebook groups, the cottage core groups. And I have lots of feelings about it on lots of levels. And I'm only gonna tackle one element of this meme today. So I'm gonna ignore the fact that, you know, oh, it's revolutionary to say honeybees aren't native. Of course we know they're not native in North America. And of course we know that you can care for honeybees and care for native bees at the same time. So I'm not gonna really address that. I have a whole video on whether beekeeping is ecological or not. And I'll probably be updating that video later this year. So the second part of the meme is keep your cats indoors. and like, that's controversial. Cat people get real, get their hackles up over that one. I'm just gonna say, I think you should keep your cats indoors. They're an introduced predator. But we're not gonna tackle that today either. I just wanna talk about the main chunk of this meme. And particularly because it's mostly getting shared in Facebook groups that focus on growing natives and folks seeing themselves as persecuted when they um, advocate for growing only natives. So this meme is really problematic for a bunch of reasons. I don't understand where this trend came from to say we need to grow only natives and if you grow introduced species, then you are part of the problem. And I think that this meme can be harmful for several reasons. This message can be harmful for several reasons. So first of all, there's no basis for saying that growing only natives is superior in any way to growing a diverse set of native and introduced species. It creates this really false dichotomy that says, you have to grow all natives or you're bad. And the reality is, is that pretty much every gardener is gonna be growing a mix of native and introduced species. Okay, so I do wanna cut in here and say that invasive and introduced are not synonymous. Please don't use them um, interchangeably. I have noticed when this meme has been shared, particularly, I think it was in like a cottage core group, I may have gotten a little bit emotional when folks um, with no, basis in truth whatsoever asserted that uh, European honeybees are an invasive species in North America. They're not, they're an introduced species. Those are two different things. There is a very specific set of criteria that makes something invasive. So there are all kinds of introduced species that we as home gardeners and hobby livestock keepers and farmers um, use that do not meet the criteria for invasive. Introduced does not equal invasive. So despite the overall ridiculousness of this meme, I think that it is centered in a sincere and earnest desire to want to conserve our native um, ecosystems. It is out of a sincere desire to want to do the right thing. I think there is absolutely validity in wanting to grow natives. I am a certified backyard wildlife habitat at the silver level. I grow a lot of natives in my garden. I want to create habitat for native species. I want to conserve native species. I want to create food and shelter and space for wildlife in my garden. And that means I grow a lot of natives and I do what I can to support organizations that conserve wild spaces. But it just seems so bizarre to me that there has been this kind of complete lack of nuance and this huge push that makes it sound like if you grow a cultivar of echinacea instead of the wild form, that you are somehow a bad person. Um, if you grow anything introduced in your garden, be it lilacs or be it roses or be it cherries or be it collard greens, um, you are somehow failing the ecosystem around you. What a preposterous notion. I don't really know where this came from other than there are a few Facebook groups that are kind of invested in this really dramatic message of pushing the all natives or else message. And they get a lot of gain from that, right? That gets them a lot of traction. That's a really kind of controversial take. And it gets attention at their pages and attention for their business. 
okay, that's fine. But it's not rooted in science. I have not seen any science that says we as human beings should be only growing natives and that we are doing a harm to the planet by growing introduced species. Also, let's look at the fact that this is completely ridiculous. Most of the food crops that we all consume in North America are introduced. So it just seems so bizarrely lacking in any kind of subtle understanding of the way that we grow our food, the way that we interact with our environment, and what are realistic expectations of human beings in terms of cultivation. And that leads me to my last point and the most significant point and the strongest reaction that I had when I read this meme. Right off the bat, this meme feels little bit eco-fascist in bed. It feels along the lines of those messages of like, if you put out all of your plastics in the recycle bin, you can save the environment. Or I saw somebody comment in a thread that was like, it feels the same kind of criticism, feels like the same kind of criticism as if you were saying, if you just stop buying a latte every week, you could afford a down payment on a house. It's absolutely preposterous to put it on the home gardener to save the environment, to put it on the home gardener to be responsible for fixing the problems that corporations have um, enacted on our planet. So in the same way that it's completely unfair to put it on individuals to solve the environmental devastation that we wreak on the planet, it's totally unfair to put it on individuals to fix pollution when the reality is large corporations are the ones that are um, causing the bulk of the problem to begin with. It seems that this meme is sort of in the same vein, which is if you are a home gardener and you are not growing all natives, you are responsible for environmental degradation and the risk of species, putting species at risk. The meme seems to be entirely missing the point of who is responsible in the first place. Yes, I recycle everything I can. Yes, I reduce my water usage as much as I can. Yes, I try to live as much of an ecologically conscious and responsible life that I possibly can. Am I gonna fix climate change on my own? No. Am I going to fix the global crisis with microplastic pollution? No, I'm not. Because I am not responsible for the bulk of what is happening. So even if every gardener in America took up this really weird notion that we uproot everything else in our gardens, we no longer grow introduced food that feeds and nourishes our family. We no longer grow those beautiful introduced species that are laden with butterflies and hummingbirds and bees in the summer. And we take all of that out and we only plant natives, okay? If we all did that, that would in no, no way fix the climate crisis. That would in no way fix the crisis of microplastic pollution. That would in no way fix the problem of systemic habitat destruction that we have as a species, particularly large corporations, have wreaked upon North America and wherever you happen to be living. So what happens is that we are obscuring the real root of the problem. It's much like how when folks criticize the honeybee and say the problem is honeybee keepers and we should stop keeping honeybees, that makes a really convenient scapegoat. So we don't have to look at the problem of broad insecticide use and how that has devastated our native bee species as well as our honeybees. It's much easier to say, oh, well, honeybee is bad, native bee is good, when actually the problem is much more that we have destroyed the habitats that native bees need and we have used intense amounts of insecticides that have damaged our native pollinator populations. It's much more convenient to ignore the real root problems and address them because perhaps we feel powerless and perhaps those in power don't want to change those systems. So it's much easier to just like blame the honeybees for what's happening to our native bees. This is no different. This meme is taking the home gardener and saying it's on your shoulders and therefore obscuring the real root cause, which are these systemic problems, and that those with power and influence and wealth are exploiting the planet that we all share. So I think this meme brings up a lot of emotions for me and I have such a strong reaction because it completely misses the mark. Grow all of those native plants that you want. Enjoy them, create habitat for native pollinators, but let's look at what the real problems are here. Let's look at the deep systemic issues of overuse of insecticides that have devastated not only our insect populations, but also all of the things that feed upon our insect populations. There are ripples all the way up the food web. 
let's look at the fact that large scale habitat destruction has not been done by any one individual and therefore we are not responsible for it. Yes, we should do what we can to mitigate our use of insecticides, mitigate our use of inorganic salt fertilizers, mitigate our use of unsustainable gardening methods, but let's not ignore the system that is failing all of us. Let's not ignore the fact that there are those that are profiting greatly of ex exploitation of the planet, exploitation of natural resources, exploitation of natural places, and that impacts everybody. So I hope that that little rant kind of gets the point across. I hope that you'll reconsider sharing these completely unnuanced memes, these memes that create false dichotomies that focus in on um, instilling infighting between those of us that are individuals so we don't look at the greater systemic problems that are happening. I hope that we can turn our gaze toward policy change, addressing those real root causes of why we are seeing species decline, why we are seeing habitat destruction, why we are seeing broad usage of toxic chemicals in our landscape, why we are seeing a loss of wild spaces and species to begin with. So let's focus on what the real problems are and design for real solutions and not get bogged down in sharing and um, believing these memes that totally miss the mark. I hope you enjoy your native plants. I know I enjoy mine very much. I am absolutely in love with the native bees that I have in my garden. And I try to be observant and enjoy all of the native species that come into my garden, that take up residence in my garden. But I also am gonna grow food for my family and I'm also gonna grow those introduced but not invasive plants that I enjoy so much and that so many folks in my neighborhood enjoy and that so many wild animals, insects, all kinds of creatures also enjoy and utilize in my garden. Thanks for listening to me rant today. I hope that you will tune back in for more on permaculture and sustainable living. I have most of my videos out in the garden, not in my living room ranting about memes, but I cannot resist the opportunity to critique a meme when it is attempting to critique those of us who are doing the best that we can in a really flawed system. Let's go ahead and tackle the problems in the system and let's go ahead and keep doing the best we can as individuals, realizing that there is um, no condemnation for those of us. We don't need to feel the weight of guilt and burden. We just need to try and change the system. And I hope that you all will tune back in soon. Thanks. Hey, so I wanted to do like a little tag on to the end of this video and just say that I've noticed that my opinions on this particular meme and the whole concept of you should only plant natives is not unique. I don't want to in any way make it seem like I'm the first person or the only person to have this opinion. So in fact, after I um, wrote out all of the script and filmed all of the first part of this video, I noticed that um, it appeared again in a couple of Facebook groups, including that most excellent phytomimetics Facebook group run by a gentleman named John Stewart. And he had a very similar take on it to me um, we perhaps disagreed a tiny bit about the honeybees part, but the part about planting only natives. And so I don't want to seem like I'm the only person who has this take on it. Lots of other folks can see through this meme and can see the value in growing those non-native plants. So I hope also you'll check out his Facebook group. He's the only person sharing this meme that I have seen actively critiquing it in the same way that I have. And I really appreciated that he was adding his voice to the conversation. It's also just a really funny Facebook group. So I hope that this video was helpful for you and I will be back tomorrow from my permaculture garden. Thanks.